How's it going? I am really excited to show you this. It is uh, a new way to edit text that I think is super powerful. So, um, you know, usually when we're when we're editing text, we select stuff. You know, maybe we want to make this bold. So, if you know the keyboard shortcut, you hit Command B. And you know, maybe we all know that one. But there's you know, there's a long tail of keyboard shortcuts. A lot of stuff to potentially remember. But it's great to to be able to stay on the keyboard even if you don't have those memorized. So, um, here's what we got. We made this thing. Um, where whether you've got the cursor just at a point or with some selection, you can hit Command-K, and it brings up this command list. So if you want to make it italic, you could just start typing, you know, italic, and it, and it auto-completes, and you hit Enter, and it's just done, right? Um, and so I think this is especially great um, in the context of AI. For example, um, you can, you know, in Lex right now, have the AI generate text by typing plus, 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 and... It's nice because it's simple and it's just, okay, whatever you have been writing, what should logically come next, the AI could give you an idea. Um, but what if it's not, um, you don't want it to be based on, you know, what came before. What if you want it to be something totally different? Uh, you Well, now you can hit Command-K and then it's got this AI generate text option here. So, you know, you can select it and then say, you know, write a poem about um, user interfaces um, or whatever you want it to, right? And it'll... Um, <laughs> It'll gen it'll generate something uh, you know pretty good, um, so that's that's sort of the the basics of this. Um, and you know, so if you're on Windows, it's Control K. If you're on a Mac, it's Command K. Um, that's the one keyboard short basically that you shortcut that you have to remember now. Um, and I like this. A lot of some other apps use like a slash, but I never like that because when I'm typing, I often hit slash. Like you know, this is awesome slash fun. Like. If I had typed that into some other app, it would come up with this big command palette, and I don't actually want that. I want to just type a slash. Um, another thing that you may notice if you're an advanced uh, keyboard shortcut aficionado is typically when you're editing text and say you have something selected, uh, command K is usually to bring up a link, right? So um, you can type insert link, you know, and that, that works. But you could also just ha paste a link in, right? I'll type it, but... Right, so anything that's a link it just is going to work here. Um, so you can still hit Command K, paste a link, hit Enter, and you're good to go. Um, cool. So that's the command bar. Um, I would love to hear. So right now the AI commands are uh, to just insert some text if you're at a point, or if you have some text selected, you could use you could generate text from the selection. Um, but I'm I'm excited. I think there's a lot more that could be built here maybe even like plugins that people could build. So would love to hear um, all of your ideas of what you might want, what could be helpful. Like simplify, expand, try different versions. Um, this could, the sort of generate title ideas thing, maybe could get just incorporated into that for any type of text. So um, lots of lots of cool places this could expand. Um, cool, so one other thing, that's the end of command bar, but I did, I did build another feature that I think will be helpful. So a lot of you have told me when you invite people, there used to be this blue bar up here where you could hit copy link, and it was really confusing. It was easy to lose the link. So I have a new way now that's that's much better, where basically all your links are just listed out, and you you know you can select them like this, or you can hit the copy link, and it you know it sticks around, so you don't lose it forever, um, and then you can paste it to anyone you want, um, which is nice because the waitlist is still you know kind of big. Um, and, but I want everybody to be able to write and collaborate with, with people that they're working with or, or just, um, you know, want to have fun, uh, playing with AI together. So that's all I got for today. Um, excited to hear what you think and I'll be rolling out more stuff, you know, pretty much every week going forward. Thanks.